DCI-DEX is a new generation of exchange. Its standards are rooted in the cypherpunk movement of removing middlemen and facilitating peer-to-peer -peer transfer. When Satoshi designed Bitcoin, they could never have known how quickly and ruthlessly the centralized exchange culture would undermine the principles of peer-to-peer -peer cash by inserting itself as the overlord of digital money and digital assets. Every exchange goes through them and they are a massive wealth generator for their owners, yet another middleman. In order for DCIDEX to be better and not just another middleman, every value extraction method has been removed. You might be thinking, but there are already many DEXs, why build another? Because most of them are DEX in name only. Most don't remove the middlemen, they replace them and insert themselves. Greed and profit are massive motivators. To appear better, DEXs resort to using discrete value extraction methods like front running trades, exchange tokens, wrap tokens, third party liquidity providers, maker taker fees, and a host of other schemes. To correct this, DCR DEX has achieved the following goals. No trading fees, this includes both maker and taker fees. No accounts. The software runs on the individual's machine and requires no personal information. No KYC policy. Because there are no accounts and no middlemen, there is no requirement for know your customer information. DCR DEX is an atomic swap platform and as such doesn't have or require a decentralized multi-sig wallet to conduct trades. As we saw last year, multi-sig wallets are a giant target for hackers. DCIDEX has no third-party trading tokens, no wrapped tokens, and all trades are conducted on-chain between blockchain projects. As a final note, there's also an epoch timing system that stops trades being front-run. With the release of DCIDEX version 0.6, the exchange removed the last remaining fee associated with using the platform. This was the registration fee of 0.1 DCR that was needed to connect to the server and ensure good behavior. This has been replaced with a fidelity bond which is no longer a fee, but a returnable amount to ensure all users follow the exchange rules. The bond has to be locked continuously. If the user decides to stop using the platform, they can unlock their bond, which takes approximately 60 days to fully unlock. Fidelity bonds are a prerequisite to the mesh server, which is the next stage of DCR DEX's evolution. The mesh server will enable anyone to run a DEX server and the trading pairs of their choice whilst being connected to a global order book. Let's have a look at how the Fidelity Bond system works and how to cancel the bond when required. On setup, the Fidelity Bond can be paid in the server's preferred asset, currently either DCR or BTC, but eventually the goal is to allow the bond to be paid in any available coin. To use DCR DEX, you need to lock up two bonds. Each bond is locked for approximately 30 days during the unlocking part of the process, the second bond starts the locking phase so that you don't lose access to the platform. In decrypt terms, each bond costs 2 DCR, which is approximately $30. A total of 4.1 DCR will cover these bonds plus the mining fees. The bond takes two on-chain confirmations to lock and become available and is then active for approximately 30 days. Once you submit your bond and the two confirmations complete, your tier goes from tier zero to tier one. Tier 0 means you are unable to use the platform and Tier 1 means you have full access and you can begin trading. Bonds continuously lock and unlock automatically. No further input is needed from the user after initial setup. The process for unlocking the Fidelity Bond when you want to leave the exchange. Go to the hamburger menu top right. Click Settings. Click on the Register DEX button, in my case dex.decred.org. Click on the Update Bond Options. On this page, you have two options. Change the bond asset, change the target tier. If change the tier target is set to zero, this will cancel the bond. After setting the bond to zero, the bond will unlock after a period of time. As said before, this will take approximately 60 days for the funds to become unlocked and available to spend. With the update from the registration fee to the Fidelity bond, DCR DEX is now the first DEX to have no trading fees or discrete value extraction methods. Peer-to-peer -peer exchange is an opportunity to correct the custodial, centralized exchange mess that the crypto space finds itself in. As witnessed, a change in culture takes time, but there's no longer an excuse not to be part of the evolution and get back to the reason the majority of us are here. Peer-to-peer -peer digital cash with the extension of peer-to-peer -peer exchange.